Mr. Munyake, two days to go. How confident are you? Well, we are reasonably uh, confident. Uh, given the, the circumstances that we face, uh, we are very happy to, to have reached this far. Uh, it has been very tiring, but uh, we thank God that we made it this far. What do you think are your party's chances? Uh, well, our party was founded uh, in June 2014, that is last year. So we were still in the process of building our party. But uh, having said that, we still feel that our message has gone across and that uh, wherever we have made uh, uh, impact, it will show in the elections. What's, what's different about your party? I mean, what are you offering that so many Lesotho parties are not offering at the moment? Yes, uh, Lesotho at the moment is facing a high unemployment and poverty. And this has been the case for the past uh, decade or more. And uh, our party is now coming up with an economic reconstruction for Lesotho. We are bringing a new program for government that will uh, take Lesotho out of its economic problem situation. We are targeting more employment of the youth, the women, and the disabled. This is our program and what our party is uh, bringing about. And also the decentralization of government. Local government in Lesotho has been dysfunctional for many years now. And uh, uh, our party intends to uh, bring about what we call district governments so that Lesotho uh, can benefit from government uh, nationwide, as opposed to now where Maseru is the center for all developmental Everybody activities. Everybody else is a distant cousin. Yes, yes. Now, but how do you turn around the economy? What do you, how, where do you see the involvement of the private sector in particular? Because part of the problem with Lesotho is the fact that everyone looks up to government to do things. Everyone looks up to government for, 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 for employment. Where is the role of the private sector in particular? And what are the sort of things that the, the, the private sector should be doing that it is not doing at the moment? Indeed. Uh, government has not given uh, uh, a playing field where uh, the growth of the private sector is, uh, is, is given that, that, that chance. So what we have in our program for government is targeting actually growing our private sector. We want to transform Lesotho from being a primarily an agricultural society into being an industrial society. We have not been producing anything in Lesotho. Instead, we have been a consumer. Uh, a, a market. Everything that we have here is produced in South Africa and we ourselves are not exporting very much. The, the manufacturing industry that we have is dominated by foreign uh, companies from China and so on. So now we need to have domestically uh, uh, invented products that we can export. The balance of trade as it stands now favors, uh, is, is very unfavorable. So we want to industrialize Lesotho and have uh, uh, lots of industries that will produce things locally and export them to foreign markets. Now to a, a skeptical private sector that's going to say to you, yes, yes, yes to all the things that you're saying, but we do need the government to incentivize us um, as well. What would you do if you are the to be elected the president of this country on Saturday, how would you incentivize the, the private sector? The first thing that we want to do is we want to see that all of the uh, young people who have graduated, our universities produce almost 2,000 graduates every year, and the majority of them are working in the streets. The first thing that we want to do is that all the private companies that employ the youth will be given the, the, the first contracts, you know, because government procurement is over a 500 million rand uh, uh, business for the private sector. And we want to make sure that we target those companies that will employ uh, our youth who are currently walking the streets. And those companies that do so will be the first to be considered in our, in, in our procurement process. We have a, pro a program that we call uh, Accelerated Infrastructure Development Strategy that we want to, uh, to implement once we get into government. And the Accelerated Infrastructure Development Strategy uh, stipulates that uh, the companies that will be preferred as uh, like in the Republic of South Africa, where they had this expanded public works program and the targeted procurement, where companies were, you know, after 1994,
companies had to make sure that a certain percentage of ownership of companies belonged to black people. Here in Lesotho, we want to see that a certain percentage uh, uh, employ youth, employ the disabled, employ women. And this is how we want to do it in Lesotho so that we can see them absorbing more and more of our young people who are unemployed. Ms. Manyaga, best of luck. Thank you very and much. And may the best party win. Thank you very much, and thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Thank you.